we will revisit the cystic timer and we'll see how to make it more precise so we'll try to get a make it more precise we will do that by engaging the face lock loop otherwise called the PLL so in order to understand what what this entails first I will make the observation that on the Cortex M4 microcontroller, which is my TM4C microcontroller, there is an there are two clock sources. There is an internal oscillator which runs at 16 megahertz with a plus or minus 1% deviation from the 16 megahertz. Um, it's not very precise, but it requires less power. So the advantage, the positive, is that it requires low power, but the negative is that it's imprecise. So we can also engage, so this is the internal oscillator which is built in. There is a external oscillator and we will see a picture of it uh, later uh, where, where this, is, uh, uh, this is something that you can, you can choose um, to put on your board which uh, which in your case it comes uh, with uh, with an oscillator already uh, soldered in um, this external oscillator is very precise and it's very stable the this external oscillator depending upon what has been uh, chosen for your board. Uh, the, the one that has already uh, been soldered is also a 16 megahertz crystal. But you can choose to put a different crystal if you want. Now, what we what we have is um, the, the face lock loop can take advantage of an external oscillator. Um, and the idea is that um, the PLL allows us to, so it allows us to speed up or slow down the clock. No, now one would wonder why would I want to speed up or slow down the clock? Well, Speeding up um, is is uh, is going to uh, make the clock run faster, which means that you're uh, you, you are uh, doing more work, but at the same time you're expending more energy uh, rapidly. When you slow down, you you conserve energy, and particularly if you're trying to operate in a um, in a system where you want long battery life, you want to slow down the clock, particularly if the work that you're doing doesn't require the high speed. So it's a trade-off. So it's a trade-off between speed and power. So the PLL allows you to choose where you want to lie between this trade-off between the speed and power. So let's take a look at these two fields that we use to configure the PLL. The two fields, as we mentioned, are XTAL, the XTAL field, and the SysDiv field, SysDiv 
2 field. Now there is the, dev the two device registers of PLL where these fields are present are called SysControlRCC register, device register, and another register which is the Sys control RCC2 register. So the X style field is bit 6, 10 through 6. It's a 5 bit field, the X style. And the SysDiv field is from bit 28 through 22, which makes it a 7 bit field. Right there this is five this is five bit and that is seven bit. the extal bit bit field is going to be a five bit pattern which is a one zero one zero one so that's what we're going to write there and what this tells the system is it tells the microcontroller that the external clock is a 16 megahertz clock now, because the board you will be uh, getting has a 16 megahertz external crystal, this is a fixed number. You will not change this. Um, if you were to change it, for example, if you had a, uh, had a different board uh, which had a 24 megahertz external crystal, then you would write a pattern which is a zero, so one, one zero one zero so that's the only difference now for this class we expect you to be using the the field to be uh, one zero one zero one the second field is the sysdiv field which uh, which can take values between 4 and 127 and let's just call that represent that by n and this n bit number is used to uh, configure the PLL at uh, different speeds that you want the uh, system bus to uh, run at. So if n is, is set to some value, let's say n is set to 4, then the clock is going to be 400 megahertz divided by n plus 1, where n is 4, which is going to be 400 divided by 4 plus 1, which is a 5, which is 80 megahertz. What if I want to run slower? So the slower you want to run, the higher the n value is going to be. So you can appropriately choose that to get to the speed, desired speed. Now, so in essence then, our uh, PLL has given us two things. One, using the PLL, the first thing that we are doing is using uh, a higher precision external precision external crystal that means it's more accurate which means it's very accurate and it's very stable good and the second thing that we've achieved is the configurability or the flexibility to choose choose our speed. But why would we want to choose the speed? So the the speed is chosen according to the trade-off we talked about between the trade-off is between between power and speed. So if I want to operate at low power maybe I choose a, a low speed. If I want to operate at a higher speed then I'm going to be draining the battery faster, so I'm, be, I'm going to be consuming the power faster. So wow. by appropriately choosing that operating point, you can uh, run the system in the most uh, efficient way.